Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from BTN HD, and yes, uh, I just finished upgrading my Surface to the latest Windows Insider build. Uh, it's actually build 15.002, and there's a lot of updates, uh, and it really depends on what version you have uh, Windows 10. If you have Home Edition, there's some features that you're definitely going to get. If you have Professional Enterprise, you're going to get all the extra stuff. So I'm going to show you guys my top 10 uh, features for my Windows 10 Home Edition. I have my notes right here and so let's get started. Right now I have my Surface Pro and it's connected remotely capturing all this information so it's going to be a little slow. Okay so the first thing that I notice is within Microsoft Edge they added a couple of cool features within the tab section. So let's say I have a couple of tabs and let's uh, let's navigate into our site. Let's go to this site, and let's also go to gmail.com. Right? Let's go to these sites now. If you have multiple tabs up, it looks like Microsoft provided two cool new features. One feature is this down arrow, which basically shows you a preview of all your tabs. So if you click on it, you get this. So that's pretty cool. The more tabs that you have, you can basically just navigate between that, which is pretty cool. I only have three, which is okay. They have this new feature right here that allows you to set aside your tabs. And this feature right here, set these tabs aside. So let's say I want to set these tabs to the side. That's it. So they're basically disappeared. It, it clears up some space. And if you want to bring them back, you just click on this button right here and you get a nice little side window of all the tabs that you place on the side. For my number two, top feature number two for this build is within the start menu, uh, it looks like they allowed us to create subgroups or folders within the tiles of your start menu. For example, I have mail and I want to create this folder with Twitter, mail, and maybe my Microsoft Edge. So if I just click on this tile, my Twitter tile, and I drag it right in the center of my mail app and just let it go. And we're gonna do the same thing with Microsoft Edge and let it go. And as you guys can see, it creates this nice little envelope with an arrow. If I click on it, everything is brought back together into like this nice clean folder. And the only thing that you see is icons of what it's inside this folder. Again, it's my mail, my Twitter, and my Microsoft Edge. If you click on it, it kind of expands down and basically shows you everything uh, that's inside that folder. Now, a new cool little trick that they built in within the operating system, which they should have done this a long time ago, is a feature within OneNote allowing you to capture the screen. So from my understanding, if you do a Windows Shift S for Sam, you it's going to kind of white out and you're going to get the nice little crosshair and you could just drag and drop what you want to capture. That region that you selected is going, to go, is going to be captured within the clipboard. So let's open up Word. And once you, once you open up Word or a word processing application, you could do a Control V and it would paste whatever you captured using the Win Shift S command. Now, number four on my list is all about Windows Ink Pen. I'm going to say don't save and this is the reason why I've been testing out a lot of these insider builds within my surface because it, it consists of a lot of the Windows hardware and doing it as a virtual machine doesn't really work as well. So I'm going to open up the Windows Ink and we're going inside, uh, let's go to Sketchpad. And within Sketchpad the only thing that I notice is that they highlight a couple of things and they, they gave you additional features within the eraser. It was basically just erase, but now they gave you a race, a stroke eraser, small eraser, large eraser, and erase or ink. So they just gave you more options on that part. Uh, I still need to play around with it to see what else is new. Okay, so let's close that up. And a huge, huge, big upgrade that they did was within the settings app. So I'm gonna get inside the settings app. And within the settings app, let's get into, let's say devices. Uh, we're going to go into the devices section. It looks like they placed Bluetooth and other devices in one section, 
Bluetooth and other devices used to be two different sections, but now they combined it, which is pretty cool. Keeps everything nice and clean. Makes sense to have all the Bluetooth devices and also other devices such as, uh, you know, devices that consist of like wireless connection to be here. Now, another thing that I noticed is within the settings, if you go back to settings and let's go to system, and within systems, if you go into the display, it looks like they added the resolution within the display portion. I like this a lot uh, because the, the resolution part was always like hidden within the Windows 10 environment. And the fact that they actually placed it within settings display, it makes much more sense and easy to find and configure. Now, another thing that I noticed within the display, they added this new lower blue light automatically, which is pretty cool. By default, it's off. But if you click on the blue light settings, it gives you a nice little brief introduction of what it does. Uh, it displays emit blue light, the kind of light that you would see during the day. Windows can show warmer colors to make it easy to sleep at night. So top number nine on my list. And top number nine on my list consists of uh, changing the themes. Uh, it looks like theme was removed within the control panel and placed within the personalization. So now when you go to personalization within the settings app, you're going to get the option to do themes, which is interesting because it looks like Microsoft is trying to uh, slowly get away from the control panel. They, they're basically taking everything from the control panel and putting it inside the settings app. And top number 10 on my list is the Windows updates. Uh, they changed a little bit and if we go to updates and security uh, They gave you a nice little icon indicating that it's fully up-to-date. I like that uh, Throughout the entire settings app you're gonna see need a hand Which is something pretty neat kind of if you have any issues you can actually contact support on the spot I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing within professional or enterprise they added another additional feature within Windows updates, which is pretty cool. It allows you to extend 35 hours plus for Windows updates not to hit your machine. Plus, uh, within the Professional Enterprise Edition, uh, you could disable the feature to not uh, allow Windows to update your um, your graphics drivers, which is a huge problem with us gamers. Um, you know. You're playing a video game and Windows push out this update to your graphics card and everything starts messing up. You don't want that. So it only it's only going to work within professional and enterprise. It'd be nice if it works for the home edition part. They need to add that feature within the home edition. Allow us to disable the Windows graphics drivers so it won't get pushed out automatically to us. They definitely need to give us that option within home and that's it guys those are my top new features for the new build uh which is windows 10 insider preview build 15002 uh i mean there's a lot more but it really depends on what flavor you're using uh professional enterprise has a lot more home edition is what i've seen so far i'm still testing everything out hopefully you guys enjoy leave comments right below and i catch you guys on the next one peace out